Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I have an exciting video. It's in honor of the new movie coming out with the sequel of A Christmas Story Christmas. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting with a 30 ounce um tumbler the shape uh, a pilsner i think is what they call it i went ahead and spray painted it white and um i'm gonna go ahead and add um i add about 25 to 30 milliliters of epoxy and i'm mixing up this like golden yellow glow powder into it um it's so weird that it's like a golden glow i thought it would glow gold but it really doesn't so I'm going to go ahead and mix this glow powder into the epoxy and we're going to add it to the tumbler. So I'm trying to get this as even as possible and then we're going to let this spin overnight and then we'll move on to the next step. I do use my torch to pop any bubbles um, and then like I said we'll just let this spin overnight before moving on to the very next step. So the next step that I'm doing is I'm taking my tacket. This has already got a, about a 50-50 ratio of water and tacket, and I'm going to put this all over the tumbler. And um, using my makeup brush, I'm doing as even as coat as possible and um, brushing it all over. And then I will let this dry. I, of course, as you know, am impatient and do use my heat gun to let this dry. So once that tacket was um, dry, which is not going to be completely dry, but it's going to be tacky, I did pull out this golden pearl mica powder that I had, which for me was the closest to like a flush colored mica powder that I had. I'm just going to dump this out on the tumbler. And um, I didn't want to me uh, mess up another makeup brush. Um, I, and I'm just going to use my gloved hand to rub this in all over the tumbler. And I didn't say this at the beginning of the video but I'm sure you guessed it by the thumbnail I am making a light leg lamp tumbler um and I ended up making a massive mess which a lot of you know I am a huge messy crafter to begin with so this is no no shocker to anybody 
But um, once I get all of this rubbed in, um, I end up doing a very thin coat over this just to lock in that mica powder. And I just wanted to show you guys that this does glow through the mica powder. Um, I'm just using my little handheld um, UV flashlight here and it still glows green even though it's a golden. It, I guess I was just not thinking that, I don't know, I thought it would glow more of a golden. But anyway, so once that epoxy is done, I had purchased, um, I purchased fishnet le leggings <laughs> because instead of just doing, um, vinyl over, I really wanted real fishnet on these. And so I purchased, um, fishnet and I'm putting them on here. So in order for these to stay, I was going to knew I was going to have to work fast so the fastest that I could get this to stay on here was going to be using UV resin. So I put this on and got to pull these as tight as I could to get to where I wanted these and um, tied it up at the top in a knot and then pulled them down at the bottom and um, there was like a line and I didn't want that line on there. So I pulled them as tight as possible and... Um, secured that at the bottom to where I wanted it. And then, um, I knew I didn't want them going all the way at the top. So, um, just kind of figured out where I wanted it. And then down at the bottom, I knew the very bottom was going to be basically like the shoe. So what I did was use my UV resin to kind of smooth it on there and then hold cause it kind of dips in the bottom so I'm holding it down a little bit and using my UV resin and tacking it down so that that um, fishnet stayed on the tumbler and did not go anywhere um, that I didn't want it to. And it stayed exactly where I wanted it to. So I did this um, in so many spots so that um, it actually stayed. And this worked like a gem. So that... Once I get all the way around, I don't show you the whole process because this took me quite a while. And then, so once I get that to where I wanted it, went around the top, you can see I have it taped. And then I cut off the excess at the bottom. I'm just going to go through and use my very sharp X-Acto knife <laughs> and cut off the excess that I don't need. And I do the same thing up here at the top, cut off that excess that I don't need. And um, I use the electrical tape that I put up there at the top as my guide um, because I do need a much straighter line at the top than I do at the bottom. Because at the bottom I am going to paint black. Uh, like I said earlier, that's going to be um, basically the shoe. After about two coats of epoxy, I had printed out um, 
this like burlap or linen looking uh, water slide and I am going to add it at the top to be the lampshade. So I get the tumbler wet up at the top and I'm going to apply the um, strip here and I kind of have to piece it together because it does um, not fit all the way around as much as I would have loved one piece it did not fit so um, I do add it on here smooth it out get all of the excess water and bubbles out and um, you'll see here when I spin it around um, that I did have to piece one little spot right there um, which one part of it will get kind of covered up in a later um, a little later to, for the next um, thing that we have to do so I do um, add this water slide and then let it dry um, I just had to cut off a little sliver to add into that spot and then um, we'll move on to the next step pat dry to get off any excess water and um, this went on fairly smooth. Here I am just adding in the little sliver. And as you'll be able to see, um, it does overlap the other portions and um, it will not matter in the end because uh, one part of it will get covered up and it won't look as, as bad <laughs> as it does right now. So as that's drying, I am going to paint the bottom, which I started to forget to film, of course, but then I remembered. And um, so I just used basic acrylic black and um, I just use like a makeup sponge and um, just cover up that bottom um, to overlap just slightly to where the um, fishnet started so that it looked like one piece. So that's all I did with that and then removed the painters or the painters tape the electrical tape and um it it looked turned out really good so then once all of that was dry I did add on another coat of epoxy and let that cure So moving on, I had cut out and I made fringe. Um, <laughs> so starting to cut this or to, to weed this, um, some of it started to pull off. So I decided to reverse weed it and to make this easier. So um, pulling off, um, I cut up too short apparently. So then um, 
adding the transfer tape to this and then adding it to the tumbler was going to be the easiest way. So this fringe I added to the part, the part, can't speak, where the lampshade met the fishnet and went all the way around. I'm kind of out of frame here, but I do get into frame and um, it weeded much easier this way. Um, and then I did have to piece like one part together where it started to pull off, but I will show you how I fixed that. Um, and then I just weeded off directly from the tumbler that way and it came off so much easier. Um, these were extremely thin lines <laughs> and um, the vinyl did not like those very thin lines. So this was much easier to do this way and um, I should have just done this from the get-go. But um, sometimes I tend to do things way much, way much, that's not a word, way harder on myself <laughs> instead of going the easy route. But then I just pulled around and cut off any excess that there was and then um, set that aside in case I needed to fix anything, which I did. But, um, and as you can see right there was a little space and I just filled in with any of the extra that I had. So um, pull off the transfer tape and then smooth down anything that there needed. And as you know, with any kind of real fringe, it's not perfect. And that's kind of what happened here, which is fine it, to me. It looked like real fringe then. And um, so, yeah, I just continued to pull off all that excess vinyl that didn't need to be there and um, continued to fix. Now, like right here where it kind of overlapped is where I needed to fix that fringe because it, it did overlap and I just needed to piece it together. And then I had cut extra lines to go up from the fringe all the way up to the top, just like on the regular lamp, and cut that off just to add the extra element. And then I just run around randomly and added that too. And then this is where I knew where I wanted to cover up one of those lines that overlapped from the extra piece of water slide. I knew that one of the lines would still show because of the way that I had to piece it together. But... Um, had I known way ahead advance that it was going to do it, I would have done it in two different pieces and covered up both lines, but I didn't know that it would do it. So yeah, there's still going to be a line, but it's not as bad as it was. So that's what I'm doing here is just going through and adding those lines. Like if you see the original lamp, they had those lines going up the lamp. That's what this signifies. So there's that. And so I did add those lines and then I did seal this with this CC DIY quick coat to make sure that none of this vinyl lifted. That's a lot of vinyl <laughs> and I didn't want it to lift. So I added a coat of this once that was dry. I added two final coats of epoxy and let those cure between each coat of epoxy and here it is all finished. I absolutely love how this turned out. My vision that I had with this came through and I love it. And here it is glowing. I am in love with this. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a great big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.